In this video, we demonstrate a case of bilateral common iliac artery stenting for a patient with severe aortoiliac atherosclerotic disease and bilateral lower extremity lifestyle limiting claudication. As seen in the CTA, there is severe aortoiliac atherosclerotic disease involving the aortic bifurcation and inferior abdominal aorta with short segment common iliac artery occlusions with distal reconstitution into the external iliac artery and hypogastric arteries bilaterally. We began our procedure with ultrasound guided access of bilateral common femoral arteries. A wire and a catheter were used to cross the right common iliac artery occlusion and advance into the abdominal aorta for where an abdominal aortogram was performed to demonstrate true interluminal position. We then repeated this process in a similar manner after crossing the left common iliac artery occlusion with a contracatheter placed in the abdominal aorta and an abdominal aortogram performed to demonstrate true intraluminal position prior to proceeding with the procedure. We then performed a retrograde angiogram via bilateral common femoral artery accesses to delineate the common iliac artery bifurcation into the external iliac artery and hypogastric artery, which would later serve as our endpoint during stent placement. Over the wire, we then exchanged our five French sheath access for long seven French sheets, which were advanced proximally into the healthy segment of imperial abdominal aorta, proximal to the common iliac artery occlusions. An abdominal aortogram was then performed via our bilateral seven French sheath accesses to delineate the imperial abdominal aorta and origins of the renal arteries and inferior mesenteric artery with goal of preserving the inferior mesenteric artery during stent deployment. Preoperative CTA imaging demonstrated bilateral common iliac arteries, which measured roughly 7 millimeters in size, and an intrarenal abdominal aorta distal to the inferior mesenteric artery that measured roughly 14 millimeters in size. Thus, we elected to proceed with stenting of the aortic bifurcation and common iliac arteries using bilateral 7 millimeter Viabon balloon expandable stents. These stents were advanced through our bilateral 7 French sheath access and positioned just distal to the inferior mesenteric artery and proximal to the common iliac artery bifurcation. The sheets were then withdrawn and a retrograde angiogram is performed to confirm positioning prior to deployment of our VBX stents. The balloon expandable stents are then deployed through simultaneous coordinated inflation by two operators to ensure good wall opposition and equal expansion. After deployment, the balloons are withdrawn and a contracatheter is introduced into the abdominal aorta from where an abdominal aortogram is performed, which demonstrates a patent intrarenal abdominal aorta, aortic bifurcation, bilateral common iliac arteries, and hypogastric arteries with preservation of the inferior mesenteric artery. We then repeat our abdominal aortogram in a different projection to better delineate the common iliac artery bifurcation and origin of the inferior mesenteric artery, which appear widely patent after stent deployment. Bilateral common femoral artery access sites were closed using a minx closure device. Postoperatively, the patient was noted to have palpable femoral pulses as well as dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial artery pulses bilaterally. Clinically, she had complete resolution of her bilateral lower extremity lifestyle limiting claudication by the time of her postoperative visit. This concludes our presentation of bilateral kissing iliac artery stenting for a patient with severe aortoiliac atherosclerotic disease.